right, what is going on? What's happening? How's everyone today? My name is Chuck, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, fellas, what we're going to take a look at is going to be some top AR meta loadouts. Warzone at all points in time continuously changes, whether it be for guns with the Vanguard weapons, the Cold War guns, or the Modern Warfare weapons. Everything still gets touched here nowadays. It's kind of ultimately balanced out. So today, we're going to be taking a look at the best ARs you guys can possibly use here in Warzone. So before any farther, if you guys could do me a favor and drop a like on this thing in the next five seconds for some good luck and subscribe. The notifications turned on. I'm on the road to 800,000 subscribers. So one of the first guns we have to take a look at here is going to be the C58. This gun is unbelievably good. It just has a tad bit of recoil that a lot of people can manage to control. And as long as you can manage to control that recoil, you're going to really be able to dominate here in Warzone. Same with this and like the EM2. They're a little bit more higher recoil now that they've been nerfed a little bit, but that's just because they're oh so good in that damage category, the damage output category that they had to do something about it. So let's get into this setup here to give you guys a really awesome build for it. So first thing here in the muscle category, we're gonna throw in the agency suppressor. This is just the best thing you guys can possibly use here for this gun. I wouldn't really recommend running the regular suppressor. That's just not gonna be beneficial, especially because this gun has some recoil and this is gonna be a primary AR. We definitely need to run the agency on this gun. After that in the barrel section, we're gonna go through and run the 18.5 task force barrel here. I do believe the task force is indeed going to be the best barrel on this gun. Usually speaking beforehand, you could get away with running the ranger barrel, but because they happen to nerf this here a little bit, we're gonna be running the task force barrel as this is gonna be a much better barrel. It'll slow you down ever so slightly in comparison to the Ranger, but it will be better overall for your recoil control and all that stuff. And that is gonna be, you know, the primary concern here with this gun. So we're gonna run that on this weapon. Now in the underbarrel section, we're gonna throw on the field agent grip here for the horizontal and vertical recoil control. I do believe this is incredible and I'd highly, highly suggest you guys run the field agent grip on this and pretty much nothing else. As you know, I do believe this is gonna be the best grip out there. And after that, in the magazine section, we're gonna throw on the basic 45 round drum magazine. Though if you guys really want to and you're okay with slowing yourself down a little bit more, you guys will notice that this does not have any effect on your ADS speed, but the 50 round magazine or the 55, I should say, actually does have a negative effect on your ADS time, which is okay. So, I mean, you guys could definitely run this and it will be like just fine. But for me personally, I like having a little bit more agility. And I do believe that because the fire rate's not super crazy, that you guys can get away with running a 45 round magazine on this and that'll work out just fine. And for our last attachment here in the optics section, we're gonna go throw on the X alarms three times as this is indeed going to be my favorite three times sight to run on this gun or the favorite sight to run on this gun. I pretty much think this for all the Cold War ARs is incredible. So you guys should definitely go ahead and run this. This is my full build here for the C58. If you guys do enjoy this one, it is a top meta AR right now. Definitely give it a shot. As long as you control that recoil, you're going to be down people unbelievably quick. Now let's move on to a gun here that is still incredibly good that has significantly less recoil, and that's the Cold War AK-47. A lot of the Cold War ARs are going to be super good here in Warzone just because they have a lot less recoil. They have a great damage output, and this gun is exactly like that. It has an incredible damage output. It's got very little recoil. It's super easy to control. It's also got some pretty awesome variants that you guys can be able to see here behind me. So let's hop into a pretty awesome build here for the AK-47 that's going to allow you guys to that dominate Warzone. First thing starting in the muzzle category, of course, we're gonna throw on the Groove Suppressor. This is the equivalent to the Agency Suppressor, so we're always gonna be running this, especially because this is an AR build, so we are always going to run that. I have a couple cool variants here, but I mean, you guys don't really have to have any of these. I just think they're a little bit cool, so we're gonna go throw on, you know, just this one here for the time being. After that, in the barrel section, we have a few different options in here, but we're gonna run the 20 Spetsnaz RPK barrel. I do believe 100% that the Spetsnaz barrel is indeed going to be the best one here. I mean, I have seen people try to build this out as an SMG like slash AR hybrid, but we don't really do that anymore. So, I mean, if you're trying to do that, maybe run like the ultralight or something. But as a true AR, the Spetsnaz RPK barrel is going to be my 100% go to 10 times out of 10, seven days a week. So, I would recommend to run the Spetsnaz RPK. After that, in the outer barrel section, we're going to throw on the Spetsnaz grip here. This is the field agent grip equivalent for that horizontal and vertical recoil control. This is just overall my favorite one here. So, I'd highly, highly recommend you guys go ahead and run this. After that, in the magazine section, we're going to once again throw on the basic 45 round magazine. And as you guys could definitely run the big like 60 but to be honest with you guys a lot of the cold war ars feel like they slow down a little bit too much when you run the largest magazine on them so that's why i'd say to run the 45 round magazine on this as this is indeed going to be a banger a banger of an attachment on this gun now for our final attachment of course in the optics section we're gonna throw on the tried and true axle alarms three times as this is indeed going to be the best one out there for this gun so definitely going to run the axle alarms three times absolutely love this thing this is my full build here for the cold war ak-47 this is an amazing AR, probably a top one like for me to ever choose right now out of like all the guns. 
I definitely suggest to choose this. Now, this next one here may surprise a few of you guys because this is the Modern Warfare Kilo, and the Kilo hasn't gotten touched here in quite a while, but because everything else keeps getting continuously nerfed and this gun stays consistent, it's still like really, really good, and it's definitely made a resurgence here more so uh, just because it's like the Kilo is just, it's a really low recoil gun. It's got a great damage output, and it's very easy to use and rank up, especially because it's a Modern Warfare weapon, not like a Vanguard weapon. Those Vanguard weapons take way too long to level up, so this is definitely a tried and true AR right here that a lot of people love using. So let's give you guys a great build for it. Of course, starting off the muscle category, we're going to throw on the model of the suppressor. Don't get to explain this one too much. This is the best one in the game. Definitely stay away from the lightweight and the tactical. There's no reason for you guys to run those attachments. So always run the monolithic. After that, in the barrel section, we're going to throw on the 19.8 Prowler barrel for the damage range, below velocity, and recoil control. This is indeed going to be the best barrel here. This also has a 16.6 SOCOM. This does everything the Prowler barrel does, but it just does less of everything. So if you guys are okay with that, I mean, you can definitely do it but i would only ever suggest to run the prowler barrel as this is like kind of necessary to make you the most effective as you can possibly be there just flat out is not a better option out there so always run the prowler barrel on this gun so we're going to select that in the underbarrel section to keep it very simple go with the commando foregrip you don't got to go too crazy this thing i've seen people try to use the merc foregrip at the range of the tactical any of the other ones down there there's no reason to use anything else besides the commando foregrip on this gun and this is coming from somebody that's used the kilo for you know a long long time pretty much years at this point ever since you know we got first introduced into warzone i've used the kilo 141 and the commando foregrip has been the best on this for the longest period of time so always go ahead and run that after that in the magazine section hey listen i'm normally a 60 round magazine kind of guy but recently i've been experimenting with using the 50 round magazine on this gun and i do believe especially because i use this exclusively on rebirth island that the 50 round magazine is indeed going to be the best option for me granted i have ran the 60 round magazine for such a long time i do believe it is incredibly good as well i just have found that the 50 round tends to work very nicely for me so go ahead and try the 50 if you guys are feeling like this gun is a little bit too sluggish for you and you still want to be able to have all that range and everything but have a tad bit more mobility so the 50 is going to be great for that now for our final attachment here in the optic section we're going to go throw on the vlk three times optic here for the increased zoom level absolutely the vlk in this gun this thing is just absolutely amazing this and the axe arms three times are top tier sites to use on all your guns go ahead and try this build out here for the kilo 141 it is incredible definitely one of my favorite ARCs to use right now and now for our last gun here in this video we're gonna be talking about a massive beast in warzone the grav 5.56 this is a gun that i personally love not running an optic on and i absolutely love this gun here and i love using it on a rebirth island specifically it is such a good ar with very minimal recoil a great damage output and you guys definitely need to try this one out first thing the muzzle category don't got to spend too long on this model expressor you guys already know this is indeed going to be the best one in the game for all the model warfare ars after that in the barrel section we're going to go throw on the tempest 26.4 archangel barrel this is the one that's going to give you those really nice clean iron sights so i'd highly recommend you guys run the archangel barrel on this thing there's no reason to run anything else this isn't like a pre pre patch ground 5.56 the point where you could get away with running the nexus barrel this is not one of those guns this is just not the case anymore you guys have to run the archangel bear and i just pretty much would recommend that you guys use this in pretty much every single situation there's no reason to ever switch out this barrel on this gun after that in the underbarrel section we go with the commando foregrip here recoil stabilization and aiming stability i would definitely say the commando works very nicely on this gun and i would highly recommend you guys use this exclusively and nothing else and then after that we're gonna go to the laser section and we're gonna throw on the tack laser here because this has such great iron sights and i like using this as a medium range ar the tack laser works very nicely for this so it just helps increase your ads speed aiming stability aim walking steadiness this can make you more of a laser beam so you're gonna be able to hit a lot of those shots and i think this is incredibly effective so definitely go and run the tack laser on this thing and for our last attachment we're gonna go to the magazine section we're gonna throw on the 60 round magazine here just because the 60 works very nicely for this gun i would definitely say you can try the 50 if you want a little bit more mobility but the 60 works out incredibly nicely and i absolutely love running it on this gun this is my full build here on the ground 5.56 if you guys enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe if you are brand new and just to run notable captain i'll be randy and i'm out peace